On Sunday, July 17, 2022, officers who were near 20th Street and Larimer Street monitoring the out crowd observed a physical altercation between multiple individuals outside of the Larimer Beer Hall located in the 2000 block of Larimer Street. One of the subjects, who was later identified as 21-year-old Jordan Waddy and an associate of Mr. Waddy's, were observed shoving and punching another person. As Mr. Waddy walked towards 21st Street, he walked through a crowd of people who were gathered in front of a food truck vendor. Mr. Waddy emerged onto Larimer Street from between two parked vehicles and was contacted by officers. The uniformed officers observed Mr. Waddy was holding his left hand in his front hoodie pocket. They gave him verbal direction to stop and show his hands. Mr. Waddy initially put his hands up, but then disregarded the officers, walking around a vehicle and back onto the sidewalk. The video shows Mr. Waddy removed a handgun from his front hoodie pocket. The officers on Larimer Street were in a position that was nearly perpendicular to the front-facing side of the beer hall, which was directly behind Mr. Waddy. At one point, while Mr. Waddy was holding the firearm, the muzzle of the handgun was pointed in the direction of the officers on Larimer Street. At this time, one officer on Larimer Street fired four rounds at Mr. Waddy from a duty handgun, and another officer fired two rounds at Mr. Waddy. A third officer fired one round when he observed the muzzle of the firearm pointing in the direction of the officers on Larimer Street. The officer on the sidewalk was aware of the people standing behind Mr. Waddy in front of the beer hall. Here is the incident in real time. In addition to Mr. Waddy, six people were injured, including three adult males and three adult females. At the scene, investigators recovered a black Rock Island semi-automatic 10 millimeter handgun. The firearm was loaded with one round in the chamber and seven rounds in the magazine. The hammer on the firearm was cocked back. This was the firearm Mr. Waddy possessed. There is no evidence Mr. Waddy discharged the firearm. Through the investigation, it was determined that three uniformed Denver police officers fired a total of seven rounds.